I'm going to use the restroom. Uh, All right. Also, Shinzi, when you're in bracket, you can also ask for advice after, like, the set. Usually, I mean, after you lose. If you ask for advice after you win, they're probably not going to like you. But, like, you still could, theoretically. I don't know. Depends how close it was. But, like, if you go against someone, like, really good, like, PR, which, like, there's not a low chance, um, then you should ask for advice. If you lose. If you win, they're probably going to be like, damn, this dumbass is asking me for advice. Fuck it. Yeah. <laughs> Unless it's like, oh, like, great, like, you've been playing that guy for, like, you have, like, 25 cents with that guy, but, like, I don't think that applies to you. <laughs> Start the game, man. Yeah, Oh, 
Does it only happen at school? Yeah, it only happens at school. I don't know what's happening. Oh, now we're good. Let's, let's take like 10 seconds. The controller, like. All right. So wait, what stage are we on? What stage are we on? PS2. All right. So we're starting on PS2. Game one, classic beginner. Let's see, this is the fourth um, weekly challenge of Shinzi versus Brandon. Let's see how this one shakes out. Going into game one, what we're gonna be wanting to see is, of course, these bread and butters for Brandon. That is the things that are gonna let him win this game, and that's what we need to see here. But Shinzi has historically been able to keep him out. Er, even just not like get hit in the first place even having like, like that strong aggression so i don't know if he's going to be able to do it this time we'll have to see as the set continues going into stock one we're going to see just a lot of the same coming from shinji you know but brandon getting the down throw electric going for the first deck but he doesn't even land on the platform and with shinji getting him off the stage that's a good early beginning but now brandon takes back the ledge and it's just going to be kind of a classic neutral from these two two here Shinzi kind of always goes for those, you know, high percent um, up B combos, but you never just really see them connect. And the thing you kind of want to see is just like the optimal execution on both sides, right? You want to see all those combos hitting because like if all those combos hit, then it's truly going to be a good set. But we're going to have to see as, if that happens as the set continues. All right, so going in to this first stock, it's already a minute off the clock with no stocks taken but it looks like both of them are at kill percent and this one advantage already brandon getting that rage draft that's going to spend a lot of the rage draft on a pretty high percent character but getting the kill is always something you want to have right so brandon's going to get that kill and shinzi almost going to fire back that's not going to take the stock right and if brandon can just get a combo started here this could create a deficit that shinzi can't overcome and that s smash the soft s smash interestingly is going to take the stock for shinzi and we're looking at an even game, which is historically where Shinzi shells fucking shines. Shinzi going for the up B downer, it's not going to connect. And then the up B back here is going to connect, and that's going to get some percent on the part of Shinzi. He's going to go for this ledge trap with the Nair. But just nothing's going to come off it. Down throw fair is going to whiff, and he's going to go for the um, up B. And that's just kind of that percent lead that we always see Shinzi st take at the start of these games. I remember last set. Brandon almost did make a full stock and a half comeback. So anything that Shinzi can do, Brandon can do twice as fast. And that's what you have to remember. But already, Shinzi taking the stock lead here. 68% on the board. And Brandon's going to just be trying to fire this back up. But, I mean, this is kind of historically where it starts to look bad. But if, if Brandon can make this back, then there's no reason to assume that this could not be a game in the favor of Brandon. Going for that downer, but it's not going to connect. Shinzi going to go for the downer. It's also not going to connect a lot of whiff downers here. And Brandon gonna go for the uh, electric up B and it is gonna connect, taking him to a last stock game. Shinji slightly ahead, but nothing that Brandon can't manage. If he can just get that down throw electric, that near electric, that whatever electric, he can just win the game right here. But no double jump on the part of Brandon. That up B might be what takes it. Nope, he's gonna ask Sheep. Shinji's gonna put himself on the ledge. Brandon's gonna get the down throw, he's gonna get the electric, and he's gonna not get anything off it. Another electric. There's so much going on here, but there's so little being get on, gotten off of it. And that's what you need to see, right? If you want these games to, like, to continue, you need to see just like, oh, and that backer, is, that's not going to take it. But Brandon is not in a good situation here, right? He should be able to make it back. No. And that is going to be game one on the part of Shinzi. Oh, Oh, no, uh, FD, Hallows, and Rep Hollow Bash. No. Turn around! No, Andrew will call that. Turn around! Sorry. You were, 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 all right, looks like we're going to small battlefield for game two. It's kind of a similar stage, obviously, but you're going to see smaller on the part of small battlefield, which means Brandon is probably going to get some easier combos. So I do believe for a second is harder on the stage. Now let's start stock one. Brandon getting the electric immediately and dropping it not by his fault. Just that platform is going to kind of interrupt him, get in the way. You know that's how it is sometimes when he goes these platform stages. That's of course why Kaji is going to love FD. But the oh another electric. Going for the, I think it was the crouching push, but he just ends up getting a jab. There's going to be no combo there. 
but Shinzi is still slightly behind. The jab jab going for the grab, there's a lot less like jab jab stance on the part of Brandon here, which is something you like to see. Just more a fine gameplay overall, and that's clearly showing what this lead in stock one, right? But he's gonna go for the side B, that's not gonna connect. And then it's kinda just like, you know, the same time of gameplay as always. And he's gonna get the jab jab jab, getting a lot of stages. He's gonna go for the downer again, that's just barely gonna connect, uh, barely with. That's just, it's a really good thing to go for, but it's pretty hard to hit against a character like Violet. You can like, just get on the stage as they please. He's gonna go for these edge guards, but they just don't connect. Right? And Shinzi's, or Shinzi's so hard to edge guard, but Violet is just, as a character, so difficult to edge guard. He's gonna get the side beginning off the ledge, and we see another kill percent for stock scenario, like we saw last game, which Shin, or Brandon actually pulled away last time, but this time are we gonna see the same thing? Going for that up, he's barely gonna whip, and he's gonna get Shinji off stage 185% on the part of the young Asian man. Oh wait, that's both of them. I mean, either way, yeah, Shinji is just a bit behind here, but I mean, as long as you don't lose the stock, it's really anyone's stock here, right? And it's just completely even game on the part of these two players. Shinji is gonna take the first stock with 185% on the board, and this is kind of the percent where like none of none of Brandon's combos are even gonna work at this point. He needs to get like a raw hit, which is something that's just pretty difficult to do against a character like Violet than a person like Shinji, right? And which is why we see Shinji just pulling ahead so hard, right? Already 65% on the board, 79% on the board, and he's gonna get the side he will, but and that's not even gonna lead to his death. A three stock to one on the part of Shinji, and this is kind of the gameplay that you like to see out of Shinji, right? This is just the thing you come to expect. Just the, the X equals all analysis to the mathematical interpretations of what Brandon's going to do. But Brandon is going to take the stock, getting it to a 2 to 1 game. And we're going to see, I mean, Brandon, of course, he's always got a minute, right? He got that dog in him. And the down throw electric with the Nair. Oh, going for. Oh, another electric? Okay, still wiping it, but it's fine. He's got 70% on the board, and one big hit here, right, could take the stock. The side B, the Dragon Crusher, but that up B side B is going to do a lot of percent. And then the Nair, for the Nair dash tag. These um, side Bs on the part of Brandon are getting a little questionable. But, you know, it is what it is. And he's going to go for the side B again. That's not going to take the stock. Going to put Brandon in a bit of a precarious situation, though. He's going to get back to the ledge. And the Rage Drive on Brandon's part is going to help him a lot here if he can take it. But, no, the up smash is going to take the game. That's going to be a 2-0 lead for Shinji. Each one a chance to grow. Let's see where we're going. Might be a run back to my battlefield. No, we're gonna go to be going to be going to Town and City, which I think is a really good pick on the part of Brandon here. It's just a stage that you know has a lot of the flat things you come to love for Kazuya. But Brandon really needs to get these combos started if he wants to take advantage. That S smash is not gonna do anything, and we just kind of need to see like these high percent combos if we want Brandon to be able to keep it close here, right? Because if Brandon just doesn't like get those combos that close to see, we're just not gonna see like the gameplay that's gonna get him into the spot. War is 2-2. Two, two. If he wants to pull off this reverse surreal, something needs to change. But he's gonna get the, the sour spot on that um, dragon uppercut, and he's gonna get Shinzi with the slight deficit here. Not much, but you know, always you always want to take whatever you can get. Ooh, and the um, electric up is gonna get him to 115. And Brandon's gonna get the dragon uppercut on Shinzi, gonna push Shinzi into a two stock situation, not something you wanna see. Ooh, he's gonna go for that Nair Fair, but just barely like stuck on the stage, and that's something that's really unfortunate. But you know, Brandon, you'll love to see it. And just, Brandon gonna get the electric, gonna get the electric, gonna get the Nair, and he's gonna whip it at that point, but still 42% is something that you love to see. And that side he is gonna take it first Gen Z, and now we're gonna see a 2-2 situation. Brandon slightly ahead, a down throw, but not gonna be able to get the electric, just a bit too high. And going for that Dragon Up, another electric, and he's gonna get such real damage right there. That's what you need from Brandon. Even if you can't get the kills with these combos, any damage is good, right? If you can just get those raw hits. Again, another Dragon Uppercut. They're starting to hate this game. This is crazy. And he's gonna get the... I don't know what that's called, but he's gonna get the stock from Shin T. And now Brandon pulling away. Probably maybe gonna be able to take this game three. Gonna, maybe gonna be able to pull off. And reading the air dodge out, is he gonna get the first second? No, but he's gonna get the back and That's the damage you love to see. Anyway, it's just anything you need. Ben is really turning it around this game, but Shinji 
does have something to say about this, right? Get him on the ledge. If he can just get the Nair here, and he may be going for the upbeat. Yes, he is going to go for it. That is going to take the stock. Shidzi, like, such a bad situation, like, around 20 seconds ago. Now, just a slight percent lead he got to make up, but it's still something that's a big task against somebody like Brandon who could just kill you at any time. But... Shinzi's got him on the ledge. This is where Shinzi really starts to sign and where Kazuya really starts to flounder, flounder, whatever. Oh, Brandon gonna use the down B armor to get out of that situation. And now Shinzi's the one on the ledge. Brandon has the stage control, but now Shinzi's just pushing forward. He's trying to get this percent, right? You cannot be at a percent deficit. And the Dragon Uppercut is gonna take the game for Brandon. That's gonna be a 2 1 for Shinzi. <laughs> Alright, small bottom field going here for game four. And is Brandon gonna be able to take the lead? Ooh, wow, down throw immediately. Gonna go for a combo, but that platform is gonna stop him again. That's what we saw happen in game two, and it's definitely not a one-time thing, right? Ooh, wow, the first sec. Is Brandon gonna be able to get the stock? He will. That's the first sec you love to see from Brandon, right? Those are those kills. And Brandon is really starting to pull away in these last two games, right? This is the kind of turnaround that I was talking about in game two. You just need to log in, and that's where you have it. But Shinji's gonna get the up tilt, up B back air. He, sh he might have been able to get an edge out there, but he just didn't want to pull the trigger. And now Shinji's. Oh, he's got this advantage state, and I don't even know if Brandon can make that back. Oh, he will with the directional air dodge. And Shinji's on the ledge now. He's a little scared, honestly. I can see the fear. I can see him quivering. But Brandon's gonna get off stage, and Shinji is gonna try to go for that edge guard. It's not gonna connect, but he's still gonna get the ledge trap. No, he will not. J Brandon going for the quintuple jab, I think. And kind of just taking this percent lead. He's going to go for the rage drive, but it's not going to connect. I mean, Brandon wants to just do whatever he can with this lead. And he is going to get the rage drive there. 81% on the part of Shin Z. And I mean, these type of comebacks are just not easy to make against a character like Kazuya. But he's going to go for the up B, up air. It's not going to connect. I've never seen that connect. It's a really just like unreliable combo. But now we're going to see Brandon get off the stage. The F tilt and the back throw is going to keep him off the stage, right? That's a good adaptation from Shin Z. And the F tilt is going to take the stock. And now we have a 2 2 here, but Brandon has a significant percent lead. If Shin Z could just get one big hit, one big combo, I mean, it might be able to even it up, but I don't know. Brandon is one to just take away these stocks like it's nothing. Ooh, the jab, jab, jab. Going to put him off the stage. And it's really not a good. Really not a good situation for here for Shin Z, but he's going to go for the dragon uppercut. Might not have been the move. But Brandon or Shinji getting a little greedy there with the Nair. And Brandon being able to capitalize off it and get back to the stage. Ooh, just high paced. Oh my god, he just ran straight into that thing. I don't know what that called. He could have gotten an S match there, but he was just a little too excited. He's gonna go for it again. Just a lot of I think miss inputs here from Brandon, but it's not really going that bad for him. Oh, getting another Nair. Another Nair. Da down down to up air, and that's gonna put him somewhat even. For this second stock here, I mean, both of them can be at kill percent if Shinzi gets a big hit. But of course, Brandon really just needs one thing straight up. And that not going to take it. The electric up beam, uh, Shinzi's going to be able to DI out, but he's going to get caught by the down smash. And that's going to be a 2-1 to one situation for Sh for Brandon here. And he's going to get the down throw. He's going to get the electric. He's going to get the backer. Of course, we've come to expect this by now. And he's going to get just Shinzi looking so nervous, looking so scared on that ledge. And that's what you need as Kazuya, right? You cannot have Shinzi in control. You need to be in control. Otherwise, you're just going to get outpaced again and again and again. But Brandon is staying alive remarkably well here. These recoveries truly being able to evade what Shinzi is trying to do. Ooh, and the Rage Rap again. That's two stocks in a row that he's been able to get it. And that's going to leave Shinzi at 87%. Again, a full stock lead similar to what we saw last game. But he's gonna get he's gonna go for the down up, it's not gonna connect, and he's gonna get the forward air, and he's gonna go for this sledge trap here. Is he gonna be able to uh, get it or is Brandon gonna be able to run away with the game? And as that that's what we're asking in this game for. Shinzi gonna go for the down throw, get him off the stage. Again, go for the sledge trap. But these sledge traps from Shinzi haven't been hitting as hard as they have been recently. I mean Brandon's been able to get out of them time and time again. But Shinzi 
um, getting him uh, across the stage on the other ledge. And this is kind of just going to be a rinse and repeat until we see someone finally take the stock because Brandon really cannot get anything started when Shin C is just continually keeping him off the stage. But Brandon's now on the stage. Um, he's going to go for that back air. It was a little too early to connect. Shin Z just really wants this stock, but it's not coming out. And then Brandon is going to get the LB and take it to game five. Game five against Small Battlefield, th third time this set, and kind of, I just want to wait and see what happens, right? I don't want to be talking about anything because you want to let these players focus. But Brandon is going to be on the back foot immediately going into this game five with Shin Z putting on 42%. Make that 64% with the down throw fair. And Shin Z kind of just like looks like he awakened. He's going to go for the downer, but it's not going to connect. Brandon getting the down throw electric. He's going to get the nair, but it's not going to get anything else off it. And Shin Z going to get the nair dash tag, of course. Just kind of the classic gameplay from these two. Brandon trying to get something, but Shin Z being able to break out of it. But once Brandon stops letting him break out, like, what's even going to happen to Shin Z, right? You don't even want to know. He's just going to get vaporized so fast, his head's going to explode. But, you know, that's kind of what happens when you're playing against a character like Kazuya. Ooh, Shin Z going to get him off the stage. And he's going to go for the up smash. And that is going to just barely connect and take the stuck. The first lead in three games for Shin Z. But I mean, we know what Shin Z does with the lead, right? It looks like whoever takes the first stock in these games takes the, the game. Except for that one um, one stock by Brandon in game one. But Shin Z going to pull away with a bit of a lead here. We'll see if he can keep it. Brandon going to go for the side B. And then Brand Shin Z going to go for the side B. A lot of whiffs here. And he's going to go for that um, punch thing. But it just really doesn't work. And Brandon kind of just throws a lot of stuff out, right? Shin Z trying to play more calculated. But, like, at the end of the day, like, what gets you hit gets you hit, right? It doesn't matter what Brandon wants, what Shin Z wants. If Brandon hits Shin Z, like, that's what it is, right? And that's just what continues to happen, right? Shin Z keeps falling right into these traps set by Brandon with the electric and the little punchy things. But Brandon, or Shin Z is going to get that nair. Going for the F2, but it's not going to connect. Probably miss him, put it a dash tag. But this lead by Shin Z is going to be pretty hard for Brandon to crack, right? He's going to need to get a big combo here. And he's been able to get them pretty repeatedly, right? He's going to get the down throw. He's going to go for the first tag. It's not going to work, though, because he's going to miss the tech. And just the spacing from Shin Z is kind of what you want to have to see from when you're playing against a character like Kazuya. Oh, F smash. Not going to get the sweet spot, so there's no going to be... Not going to be a death here, but it's just going to be a pretty big thing. But Shin Z going to get raised job by 51. And now we're back to an even game in this game five. This might be the closest. Um, this might be the closest one we've ever seen. And now Brandon going to get that down B, but it is not going to work. Or it's not going to take the stock with Shin Z's DI. And now we're going to just see a kind of even game. He's going to go for the dash tag and then the up tilt. Still no stocks taken. And whoever takes... This second stock is going to be in a really good position to take the set. This could potentially be the first time we see Brandon as number two. But unfortunately, Shen Z is going to take the stock. And we are going to see a 2-1 lead on the part of Shen Z. But of course, this is no, no reason to be afraid for Brandon. I mean, you just need one big hit, right? And that's already the stock. That's already a 0-0, already a 1-1 stock game. But it's something you need to do now, right? You cannot let Shen Z run away with this lead. And that is what Brandon's trying to do. Ooh, and the... Electric Abby is going to take the stock. Zeros, basically 0-0 zero, zero game here. Uh, game 5, last stock. Let's see who's going to be able to pull away with it. Shinzi going to go for the Nair dash tech, but Brandon's going to get sent the wrong way. And just a lot of rolls coming out from here. He doesn't seem confident with these combos, but he's going to get the down throw forward air. And he's going to get him the Nair dash tech. And again, that's kind of the percent leads that come back from Shinzi a lot of the time. But Brandon's going to get the Electric, but he's not going to be able to get anything off of it. And now Shin Z is going to just pull away the snare. The nair dash tag not going to connect. But Shin Z still got him on the ledge. And he still got him on the ledge after the nair. The down throw forward air is going to come out. 
put Brandon at 89% the side. He's probably not going to take it. Indeed, it is not. But that is not a good situation for Brandon. He has to air dodge to the ledge. But he still gets back. And he has the rage drive now. So, I mean, this could one big hit. Or maybe a couple big hits could get this as even as can be, right? Brandon's going to go for the electric, but it's not going to connect as Shinzi shields it. And, of course, Shinzi's going to hit him with the fair. He's going to hit him, get him off the stage. And he's going to get him on the ledge, which is where Shinzi signs shines he's gonna get him with the forwarder again brandon forced to air dodge here but not gonna get caught by those left tilts shinzi is just not very good at catching those directional air dodges to ledge and i mean a character like kazuya has a really good one right it's almost impossible to catch hey bro you can see how hard random wants it. he's just like throwing everything out anything to try and get this but shinzi down to upper is gonna take the set <laughs> no hesitation I will keep forgot to update the score until game five. Okay, yeah, who's going second? Huh? Who's going second? I Commentate, Brandon. No. Uh, 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 
Kazuya, 
and Richter. I mean, in my opinion, because yeah, no, he he counterpick for this. Any my Smash Bros. So I don't know what this player is thinking, but you know, he might be better. He might be better. I am not certain. Okay, random ass side B. I mean, random, random side B. Oh my God, we're gonna get, we're gonna get bad. <laughs> random side B again. Jab, jab. Okay. Um. Chizzy's got it. Chizzy's got it. I mean, maybe, maybe he can come back from it. If he does like any of his combos, be pretty good. Uh, all right, good down there. Reset is neutral. Except the projectiles are still coming. I mean, you could you could turn this around if he uses projectiles, but I'm not sure if he knows how to use it. Oh, jab, 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 jab. Nothing. Since he could have went for a better punish there, but you know it's all good. Oh, now he's the one using projectiles. I don't know. Dead here? Nope. Not yet. Almost though. Could be any minute. Oh my god. Oh, misses the up and he gets punished for it. So maybe, maybe the Kazuya has, you know, a little bit of hope. Number one Kazuya in America. Oh shit. Oh shoot. Okay, no, I'm out. I'm out the fight. I can't do this. Kazuya is kind of smart here, he's using his laser to like beat out all of his projectiles, but he does get the 10 hit combo, um, still at 0, so Kazuya does have some hope. I'm honestly surprised that this Kazuya is beating his Richter because I struggle against his Richter. And not dead, almost, as long as you keep up this down B rotation, I think it will be fine. Oh, down, down here. He needs to lock. I think he's got it. It's just like, it's just like. I think he's more confused about how the Kazuya plays because he's. I think he's more used to my Kazuya than this Kazuya. And this Kazuya does not play how I play. And that makes sense. But I could be wrong. He misses the up B. Alright. Gets hit by laser. A third time. No. Alright, great down B. I think we have it in the bag now. Possibly. Oh, still alive. No, I gotta get the. Oh my god. I have to get the Kazuya credit here. He's actually being beating Chinsi right now. But, it's still not over. 1 1. Oh. Oh. What the heck is he doing? I have no clue. He could have went for um, the electric combos and perp stack, but he did not go for it. Uh, it's not looking good for him right now. All right, random down tilt, down air. These down airs are working really well for the Kazuya so far. Has been hitting every single one, but I'm afraid that it won't work out every single time because he needs to get this kill now. And looks like he's not gonna get it. That is 2-0 for Shinzi. And now Zia is coming up right now. He's getting ready. He's so afraid of this school right now. He has no idea. You have a chair right there. What are you doing? Bro. You guys in chairs, like you guys can, like have to have the chair you're, you're sitting on. It's like it's like it's it's stuck to you. Alright, sit down man. All right, he's pulling out. All right, what's the opponent's name? Nonchalant. Not sure yet. Okay. Nonchalant.
How do you feel about that uh, Kazuya? Kazuya, he plays a lot. Very patient. Very patient, very patient, okay. That's what caught you off guard, you were like, oh shoot. And you're like, oh, okay. I'm playing Ricker. I should be the one playing patient, not yeah. him. So yeah, yeah, yeah. I feel like you were more set on like getting the projectiles to hit him for the kill, especially those downbeats like on ledge. But hey, I mean, you still won the game. Maybe I should take a few notes on that cause here. Anyways, we have, I don't know the player's name yet, but we have Zed and Sonic. Skolvis. Skolvis? G O L B S B A S Goldbiss. This is a very strange name for a player, but hey, we love to see it. Oh. Alright, now we're good. So you had already starting off with a 99%. Looking good so far. Um, not much I could really comment here because I already know that Zia's gonna win. But the Sonic really needs to know like how to get around these projectiles because he's not really doing the greatest, and that's a kill. Um, See, if I was here, if I was a Sonic, I would be camping him way more and playing more patient because he yeah, he has like so much speed and I don't know, I think he can you can get it, but uh, okay. <laughs> There's still hope for Sonic, kinda. I still believe. I'm a Sonic lover, not really, but you know. Miss the grab. I think this Sonic is playing a little impatient because he really wants to steal. So he can have a bit of an advantage, but it looks like he is not getting that advantage anytime soon. It looks like a three stock so far. Unless the Sonic pulls out some cheese. Maybe. Oh, oh, oh. Nah. Good laser. Good gyro. He's got a hit for the gyro. Let's see if he runs into the gyro. Oh. Maybe again. And he's not going to make it. And SD from Sonic, that is 1 0 for Zed. Alright, we're going to. Random. Wait, what's the stage? Oh, okay. So whatever the opponent picks is going to be the stage. It's about to say. He might as well go with random characters then, if he's picking the random stage. Alright. Let me go. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, we're going to Kalos, and honestly I do not play Sonic so I don't see how this is a benefit to Sonic. I'm guessing that since he has so much of spin dashes that he, oh, almost hitting that combo, would have been pretty sick for our first stock. Maybe he gets it again. Sonic what? Yes, I agree. This guy, I think he's playing a little bit more impatient, or maybe he's playing a little bit more scared, because knowing Z, he knows the matchup really well, and I don't think the Sonic knows the Rob matchup as well. As like on CA. But hey, he might turn this around if he adapts really well. As long as he has the mindset, okay, good force smash. He cannot get the edge guard, gets hit by the get up attack. Not sure what the down air is for, but it's gonna cost him a stock. Drywall, oh, I don't think that's gonna kill. 
Not yet. But the back arrow might. Yeah, I think he's dead here. Oh, no, okay. He has to solidify. He has to solidify with the side B. Again, the Sonic can make this through. As long as he has that mindset, then he can um, go crazy. But so far, he's already at 44%. And Ziad is very calm, so I don't think he's going to lose the stock at that. Actually, that was a really good uh, up B from him to recover high to mix up the recoveries. And that's a go. Yeah. Oh, maybe. Ne never mind. I was wrong. No, maybe. Yes. He, now he, he just won. He just won three stocks. That's 2 0 for Ziad. And now I am going up. like we got pit that's an interesting pit skin versus ridley so oh yeah he's gonna do pit things he's gonna be spinning the in there doing the doing the bow you know yeah yeah you know you know you know what they do out here oh damn he's gonna that lag spike hit him with the s that's kind of crazy oh eddie sd's best first stock best brandon first stock of all time most competent branded fit player. Ooh, okay, okay, okay. Is he bringing it back? Is he bringing it back? Oh, this Ridley looks looks a little scared. And he just like standing there, bro. Stand in there and take it. I shouldn't say. Do you want to commentate? All right. Brandon seems to be having a hard time getting a sock from Ridley, even though Ridley has such a huge hurt box. He could have gone for a combo there after the down there. Oh, he missed a combo chain again. <laughs> oh, he should have gone for a Guardian Orbitar Reflect there. Bro, yeah, Brandon, you should have got him. Get him off the Alright, I think I'll
Damn, right in the guy coming to the I mean, super dog. I think I've learned how to get all that. You started 
Brendan's crapping on this guy, you know what I'm saying?
Avenue. Yeah, how do you? Alright, so like, if you're, if you're in shield for like five seconds, and I know like the moment I do something, you're gonna rise in there. Like, don't rise in there. Do something else. Because like you rise, you get so much rising there. Like, and like, I feel like usually you do less rising there. Like, a rising there doesn't work. Just like. Because like if, when I'm, if I'm in shield and I come down to you and like right there isn't working, you can do so much instead of just doing right there. Violet. 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 I feel like you can do a lot of like the up with the neutral beat. Like that. That's one of like the best. I feel like Three, the best. Two, one, go. I feel like it's not like you're like you're not.
hesitation. Because most characters just can't do it on one of the characters. Fairy's like a little, a little more unsafe. 
I love the character because like that's kind of just about it. But like there specifically, if I land with the character, I'm sitting there. So like most people just carry. I don't have any wins. Um, or they just don't try to narrate it. Those are kind of your options. I have a book. Wait, then like what good out of two options do I have? Like, and then and I'll smash it. What? what I, um, roll, grab. Just don't like try to get anything off it. You can just like exit. Like being in shield is a disadvantageous situation. If you're like, like if you have the choice between trying to attack or and like failing or just trying to get at the situation and be like, okay, whatever, and like jump or roll or like I don't do whatever. I don't know. You like you really don't have to attack at a shield, and you shouldn't be attacking unless you think it's gonna hit. Cause like that's something I had to learn with Rob. It's like I really can't like you know I don't add a shield do that much unless like I either see you're landing badly with there or I parry it. Like I usually just roll because like I know you can probably not gonna be able to follow up on that and then I can just like establish gyro, establish my stage control and win. <laughs> Wait, why is he saying it this this message? <laughs> You don't have to say this is the end. Step into the ring. She's your fighter. Z, do you want to come to the meeting tomorrow and warm up with Pranav? Or like practice with Pranav? Wait, do you guys usually come on Thursday? I don't. I don't neither do you. Think you I like code I like code come tomorrow though. I just don't because like why would I? So are both of you coming tomorrow? I could if you guys are coming. I'm, I'm Wait, right. if Zia and Pranav are both here, I'll come. Okay. Yeah, that's that's the deal breaker there. If Zia and Pranav is not coming, then I'm not coming Okay. You guys I'll I can skip the bait. Maybe I can come like I can go to the bait for a bit. Do you not have a tournament? I I don't have it. I don't have any debate tournaments left, but I still want to like improve because like I you know I was in Nob like next year I'm gonna be in varsity and I only did novice for like a month. So like I need to kind of like get caught up with everybody else because me and my friend joined like January and everybody has been doing it for like five months. Yeah. I'll I'll just go to the bait. I mean in the bait like I'll see if we're doing anything. I guess. Yeah, we are. We're just like watching around if something else comes. Because you're already like really good at Smash. So if you yeah. just want to get good at Varsity, I mean at Varsity. If you want to get good at Varsity, you can us. That's yeah, that's kind of the thing. Wait, Pranav is confirmed to come tomorrow. I don't know. He's, he's literally asking like, are you guys going tomorrow? But you probably would come like... You can ask him. We have the mic. But yeah, why, why, are you, why are you messing me? You can just I don't feel like talking. <laughs> just, just, Root, you have the mic right Bro, here. You want the mic right here. <laughs> Dude, like, you don't have to type it out. You can be like, instead of that. Uh, yeah, they're right here.
Oh yeah, Shinzi, before you leave, like, register, because, like, your, the registration closes, like, in the morning, so if you don't make it, then, like, you don't make it, so you should make sure, like, you get it now. Tomorrow morning. Not tomorrow morning, Saturday morning, but, like, you should still just, like, get it done. Yeah, let's, uh, let's look at the entry list. Alright, alright, so, I'll, I'll give you, I'll give you, or, well, you're gonna be playing, I'll give Brandon the rundown on everyone who's going right now. 107. Not all of these are smashed, most of them are though. This guy, former retired number one player for of Arizona for like a very long time, like a couple years. And he's playing Tekken. This and guy, oh, he's not even fun. doing. Maybe this is a different show, man. Huh. Yeah, okay, this is a different show, I think. I thought it was show like the Meta Knight. Oh, player no, 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 no. Yeah, I see yeah. that. Okay, never mind. So there's no so I thought so comfy was good. That's lame. I give it our. That would have been sick, though. Retired number one. Yeah. Um, Former PR, former PR. Irrelevant. Um, I don't know who that is. Um, very good Arizona, uh, like ASU player who doesn't go to tournaments. Um, former PR. Oh, PR now. Ronald. PR now. PR Maybe now. I should go. Um, PR now, I think. Like, very good, solid player. Yeah. Um, whoops. I don't know why it's just okay. I think you just backed out. Whoops. Oh, wait. It's had beats. <laughs> Um, I don't know who that is. Um, I don't know who that is. Oh, that's oh that guy's a pretty good Tucson player. Or no, wait, he's Flagstaff. That's me. This guy's like mid. Okay. Um, I thought that guy played Smash too. Um, okay, well this guy's alright. This guy's pretty bad. This guy's. All right. This guy's all right, I guess. This guy's pretty bad. This guy's all right. This guy's pretty good. He was PR. Wait, what's the fee to coming in? What? What's the fee? Is there a fee? Oh uh, yeah, it's, there, it's ten. There's five dollars venue, then five dollars oh, okay, first so match. 15, okay. Yeah. Um, this guy's pretty good, Tucson. I don't know who that is. I don't know. Actually, that's just bad. This guy's all right. This guy's pretty good from ASU. This is former P or this is current PR. Guys. Yeah, this is Pranav. Oh yeah, he's so shit. He's so bad at Yeah, that guy's an ass. Probably one zero two. Yes, Shy is going. Cause the mic is right in front of me, so I don't I don't have to type it. Hey yo, so you sound like when you yap. Bro, you literally sound like how you yapping right now. Oh well, actually. <laughs> Oh. 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 Are you going second? <laughs> yeah. Or win. Wait, wait, what? Wait, hold on. What's the point? S M Porsche. Like, like the car? I don't know. Let's put Porsche. So I'm just gonna give it my all. P O R S E C S C H E. Okay. S M Porch. Sporch? Some Porch. Yep. Why? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Wait, so did he friend him? No, they somebody added me on Discord, but I didn't know why. Bro, why did you want to say that? I remember saying that I was going to go ahead and I didn't accept it. I don't know why. Yeah! Yeah!
I'm down with that. I can, I can pull some for it. <laughs> Wait, Brandon, do you think you could actually go? Maybe, yeah, I'll have to ask him. Like, Friday's gonna be break, yeah, so I think I'll be fine. Well, it's not I was on side, yeah, okay, yeah. I most likely will be in there. Because I was volunteering for Occupy. Oh, if you're doing that, this is for now, I'll just say. That's not how to spell my name.
MC is in love with this music. Okay, wait, you won. Yeah, you won. Yeah, I mean, there's, there's Pranav. <laughs> uh, Pranav, I thought you called my name or whatever. So. Okay. Hopefully Pranav can like see the gameplay. Yeah. I, hopefully Pranav can see like the gameplay. I, I called his name. Yeah, yeah I have a right there. Oh, yeah. that's me. Yeah. I look right in there. I called my name. Blah, 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 blah. Already a SD from Shinzi, but it was already a charity stock, so it doesn't even matter. Shinzi's going for it. Roaring, am I right? It's like the Roaring Tigers. He's got that dog in him. Oh, so I see, he got the. I'm sorry. Help me. As long as Chen Z doesn't get caught up by up B, down B, or down air, he'll be fine. I don't know why that side B did not work, but you know, it's alright. Up air? Nope. nope. Honestly, I think I should play Bowser. I think I'd be the better Bowser. Side B. Could've been for the side B there, but that's alright. Alright, I guess I'd be there. Could've been for oh. Got stuck by the downer. Good counter from Chen Z. Even though he's about, he's kind of in dis disadvantage right now. He can still win it back. I believe in him. Okay, good tech from Bowser. All right, starting off with a new combo. Drops it. That's okay. Weird car. Oh, we're corner. We're counter from him. Down air. Not gonna punish it. But I am good. They are gonna get the um, side B. Okay. Good parry from uh, Bowser. That's a really good parry. That was only just a parry. You still got it. Good. All right, racking up some damage, consistently, exponentially. I think it's gonna do a side beat. Here, so, oh, nope, misses it. Okay. Another down air from the Bowser. Down air. Yeah. Oh, misses it. Okay. As, Shin as long as Shinzi uh, realizes the the pattern that he's going for, he can uh, win it. Okay, good back air. Really good lead for Shinzi. Okay. I like how he's using side B in neutral, just making sure he keeps out of uh, range. But that side B is not gonna do it. Still alive. Okay. Nice side B. And spacing out the Bowser. Okay, good side B again. He could have went for another. Oh, okay, that's a wow. We're just spamming side B's left and right. All right. Good forward hit from the Bowser. One on one, last stick situation. Good side beat. Wow. I, I think the name of the game is just side beat for both players, honestly. Okay. Alright, decent punish from Shen from the missed uh, up beat. And it hit the up beat. Right now, Bowser is looking for a kill like impatiently. So he is doing up, down air, up B. Okay. I was side B here. Oh, look, maybe a little closer. Just the side B again. Air dodge. Nice back air. And that's what I take it. Gen Z is 2 0. Checking himself in the camera, seeing if he's alright. The moment I went on the mic, I was like, Alright, let me in. Alright,
we're going for it. Choose your fighter. Kazuya Mishima. Not your fight. Ready? Yeah. <laughs> 
Like you don't want to play. 